Hi everyone, part two. Right, um, just been saying that uh, my magnets are very, very close together between the north and the south. Um, now, some people are going to be scratching their heads at this, so I'm going to have to do yet another demonstration. Right, walk over here. Right, this. That is my top rotor for a G field generator. Those magnets are almost identical to them on there. Right. I've got to show you this. Right. So stick that down there. Oh, see, nothing else on there, it's just a bench. Right. Stick a plain piece of paper on top. Right. In here, this is steel filings um, that every time I do uh, any grinding work with steel, uh, I take a magnet and just go around the area and collect everything up. And yes, I know there's contamination in here. Right. Famous trick with magnets, it's about there. Let me stick a dot on. There. Just so that I can see where I'm aiming. Right. Let's take some of these with my fingers. Right, straight away, you can see something odd going on with the magnet. Right. The filings that I've just put on have made an outline of the magnet. And you can see something weird. Right. So, let's take um, something you're going to see. Screwdriver. Yeah, probably not, but never mind. Right. There's the North Pole. There's the South Pole. Okay. North, south. They are literally um, about 20 mil apart at the most between centres. Right? So that's why um, I have timing issues with it and it uh, not pulsing properly. Right? I will be ordering some new magnets because these hard drive magnets, uh, well, what can I say? Yes, they're uh, uh, good for practice with and just to see um, exactly uh, how the Bedini works but I think I've gone beyond just playing around now. So let's stick some more on. Right, hopefully my camera will be detailed enough to show this. We almost fall over. Right, you can clearly see two poles on this. Unfortunately it's not quite gone as uh, as well as I'd like but you can definitely see certain bits going on. So that's the use of hard drive magnets. Um, the distance between magnets uh, between poles uh, is important um, on Bedini systems. Um, you do need to create rotors that are uh, magnetically sym symmetrical, let's put it that way, um, so that each of the poles are at a regular interval around the outside of the uh, rotor. So unfortunately I don't have that, so that's why um, this circuit is causing a problem um, and isn't working quite as well as I'd planned. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep hold of that. Um, I have uh, huge plans on the drawing board uh, in which uh, my design is going to be um, drastically altered. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that. It'll take me too long. Okay. Um, something else that I thought I'd show you while I was here. A little bit off topic. Topic. Bah. I'm sorry. Oh well. Right. Take a look at these. Here's something I created. Um, well, about five days ago, I think. You recognise that's a coil. And those guys that um, really, really hated my uh, 
uh, yellow and green insulation tape. These ones are blue! Just for you guys. Right, again, you can see the centre of the core. There is uh, 15 in there. It's M4 threaded rods. Right, and on my board here, you can see three M4 nuts I use to bolt it down onto the board. Right. Get in there and stay. Right. So you can see straight away that that is right above the rotor. Right. Now, my next step um, that I've been trying to do is to put a shaft that comes straight up from that and then that disc that's underneath there uh, goes on top, upside down and produces a G-field right, for my generator coils. Uh, still playing with that because um, I need to sort the heights out. Um, that's where I'm up to on that one. Um, showing you something else as well. Uh, that's this lot. probably won't notice that, but two capacitors, two diodes, and coil coming in. Yes, it's voltage doubling rectifiers. Right, so I use plenty of them. Right, and you can also see I've used two aluminium bus bars right, for the uh, uh, generated voltage. Okay. Um, you might say that's uh, an utter overkill, and yes, you would be right. However, one of the things I'm keeping in mind while I'm building this is that if I do manage to do it, and I manage to create something um, that produces more power than it uses, um, then the next step is to scale it up into a... Uh, a bigger version and see how much I can actually get out of it. So I'm keeping in mind that everything I do here has to be scaled up. Right, so for those that are like me trying to uh, create an over unity device uh, you might want to keep that in mind as well. Okay, I um, hope that gives everyone plenty to think about. Um, as always Feel free to email me, whatever. Talk to you later.